Welcome. In this video, we will talk about how to retrieve the recordings from the DVR and basically save the file onto either a USB uh, flash drive or to the local computer. With the CMS software already running on your desktop, you can select the DVR that you wish to get the recordings from. Once you have selected the DVR, hit the remote connect button at the bottom of the screen, which basically allows you to connect to the DVR. Once it is connected, the DVR will show all of the cameras. In this case, we just have a, we just have a single camera connected to this particular DVR. However, you can have up to 16 cameras, of course, on a DVR, and you can have up to 64 cameras being displayed in this integrated, uh, computer manager, uh, integrated system so once you have the camera uh, camera system up and running the next thing that you would want to do is essentially click on the button which will allow you to review the recordings so once you are uh, at the remote search button which is the top right button you press that and basically it will take you back and the view that is shown over here at the bottom as you see has changed now it actually displays a calendar and all of the dates that have the recordings on them will be highlighted in red the others are dates which actually do not have any recording so in this case you will see that uh, the 25th of the month is highlighted and if you see at the bottom over here where you have numbers from 0 to 23 this is actually the timeline on that particular day and the the highlighted portion over here which are the yellow lines these actually signify that there is some recorded data during that period of time and if you see that there are breaks those breaks are either due to the DVR was turned off or the camera has been set to record on just on motion and there was absolutely no motion during that period of time so anyway so let us take for example if you were to click on that particular time frame you will see the time being highlighted over here you can adjust that time if you need to so let's say for example if you want to go back to like 1225 instead of 1228 when we clicked on it you select the time and you hit play once you hit play the ca the system would uh, start displaying uh, the camera and the recordings that it has you will see the clock running over here 123533 now if you want to archive some of that footage you would first press stop and essentially go up at the top menu and you will see that one of the menu items up here this one is of course the local setting this is the remote setting and this is your archive menu button so once you press on that it will bring up the archive dialog box and this over here is this pretty simple straightforward dialog box with the, the from and the two dates and the from and the two times so in this case we let's say for example if you want to archive on the 25th from 12:34 p.m. to 12:35 p.m. we're just going to take uh, one minute of footage and basically this will allow you to capture all of the different cameras that you want to capture so in this case since we only have one camera we're just going to select camera one but in case you had more than one camera that you wanted footage you would just go ahead and select those cameras okay and then the next thing is of course the file name file name is something uh, that you can remember and that you need to assign because that is the file name under which the recording is going to be stored once you click on that file name what it brings up is a dialogue as to where you want to save. It is recommended that when you are saving the recordings, save it probably to the highest level. So we recommend saving it on the C drive, make a new folder which says recording or something to that effect and basically in that folder you would do the recording. So now we recommend over here to put a date. So it will be 2013-09-25 and if you want to just uh, give it a, some descriptive name like uh, uh, forced entry just so you would remember uh, this was on the 25th and this was a forced entry and you can have as descriptive of a name as you would like once you're done with that just hit save and basically that would give it the file name and the location that it needs to start so just going over it one more time the from time the two time uh, to date 
the from from time to time so basically in here we are just doing uh, on the 25th from 1234 to 1235 that is the file name under which the recording is going to be saved from camera one and once you're done with that you hit exe backup start button and once that is hit it will start extracting those recordings and a message will pop up which says archiving complete that essentially tells you that your uh, recordings are ready to go and they can be played now that ends our session about how to archive recordings and save them onto your local hard drive thank you